YouTube. It's your boy Dennis. <clears throat> and I got high anxiety. <sighs> so I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video, but we'll see. If you see it, that means I posted it. Um so I wake up this morning and my female she's been in heat. Uh, and I bred her, uh, AI'd her, uh, with, uh, Queen City Bullies dog, Bubby. So, her heat cycle's crazy because she ovulates so fast. Like, she came in the heat, you know, on a Saturday and she was ready to be bred the following Friday. So, it's like six days she ovulates. But then she'll stay in heat for, like, two weeks later after that. And, um... <clears throat> So I wake up this morning, you know, I keep my dog in a in a in her own personal crate in a you know, nice size crate. And I have a pillow pad in there, a Kevlar pad for her to lay on so she's not laying directly on the crate. Um and you see it in my videos, it's a big black pad. And always on her last day of heat she blows out i mean she bleeds like it's a puddle like i mean it's i, I it's like it's like it's the first time i seen it i, I thought i, I find the hiccups at a vet it's like a, it's alarming how much blood comes out of this little dog so um i i smelt it right away when i walked into the living room when i woke up i walked into the living room I smelt it right away. Uh, I knew that she had blown out. That's what me and my son call it, a blowout. So I, I uh, had an appointment, I had to take my son somewhere. So I decided, um, even though it's cold out, I, 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 she had blood all over her legs and everything. And uh, I didn't want my wife to get upset with me if I washed her in the shower. So I took it, to make a long story short, I took it to Pet, Pet Supply Plus to bathe her give her a bath um the advertisement says don't you know why mess your own bathroom up come here and mess our bathroom up uh, so i take her pillow with me now i got a travel crate in my car that also has a pillow in it for my dog so i i i uh i, I have the the pillow in my back, the, the big pillow in the trash bag because I don't want it to get blood all in my truck. So we get there and I decide, you know, I need to wash this pillow. So I take the pillow inside. Now, I, you know, I go to the store all the time. I buy fish stuff, I buy fish, I buy all kinds of dog stuff. It's overpriced. I could get everything cheaper on Amazon, but I go there anyway. So the uh, pet wash is like $10 to use it, but you could buy a card where you could get uh, five for $25, five washes. So I, uh, I, I buy this card and um, it's a sham anyway, because they give you this little card and if you lose it, then you lost your washes. It doesn't connect to your value card or your discount card, which is I don't understand why not. It would be easier just to put the washes on your card because nobody loses their card. And if they do, it's in the system. But they give you this little paper card because they want you to lose it, is, is why. Or it gets wet or damaged or whatever, and, it, and your washes are gone, right? They don't, you know, whatever. The receipt doesn't even matter, the lady said. They can't, you have to have the card to redeem the washes. Well, anyway, I'm washing, my son goes with me. We're washing the dog. I'm washing the blank, the, the pillows completely finish washing the pillows i'm standing there the lady comes up and says did you wash those pillows i said yeah you can't do that and why not it doesn't say i can't where's the sign that says that i can't this is a dog wash and these are dog pillows and my dog soiled the pillows and i wanted to wash the pillows you know i don't have the facilities at home to wash the pillows or i would have washed the pillows i would have washed my dog at home this lady, I'm telling you, man, 
So it was two ladies trying to attack me. The one lady, I, I'm just telling her straight up, like I ain't trying to hear it. There's no, I paid my money. Well, you you, you pay to use two wa washes. I, I didn't mind using two washes. I'm using one wash. I'm washing my dog and I'm washing the pillows. Had already washed the pillows first. And uh, there was nobody else there. And when the lady did come, she brought a little water in there. I made sure I cleaned up everything up and let her use it. So I wasn't disturbing anybody or blocking anybody. Anyway, make a long story short, this lady would not leave me alone. So, <laughs> this is my, my mental illness would not allow me to just ignore her. That's what anxiety, PTSD, anxiety, and my anger man lack of anger management and a lack of uh restraint uh i just i just told the lady i said what is your like what is your problem you know like you 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 what are you what are you arguing over cuz i washed two pillows what, what what is this all about you a dog hater? It's like, I, I don't understand it. And it's like, you know, everybody thinks it's funny and games until you get a reaction that you're not expecting. And that's what mental illness is. That's what happens with mental illness, with my lack of, I don't want to say self-control, but I don't have that like I'm on a hair I'm on a hair trigger and I can't control it it's like I'm a walking time bomb and I told the lady the one lady left the one lady dropped it the lady was seeing that she wasn't going to win I wasn't going to allow myself I wasn't gonna allow her to win because they were wrong to begin with. They were wrong. It, 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 they, they were wrong for making something, taking something so petty. The one lady basically said, "Well, you know, sir, that's wrong. We don't allow that. Don't just don't don't do it again." Boom. The other lady kept running her mouth. Kept wouldn't leave it alone. Did you pay for two stars? Did you pay? You gotta pay again. You did. You did. You did. Why would you even think you could get away? Well, you can't. Get, I mean, just wouldn't leave it alone, Shardy. So then. <clears throat> I said that word. <laughs> you know the word. I said, well, it's always a Karen. Ah! Yes, I did. I said, it's a Karen everywhere you go. Oh, what do you mean by that? What do you, no, she said, uh, what did you call me? Ah! You swear I used the B word on her, shawty. Nah, I'm not, you won't get me with that B word. I got too much respect for my mama and my wife and my daughters. Nope, I'm not gonna be her out. I don't even like calling my dog a B. But uh, I gave her to Kato. I let her have it. Boy, you should have seen the reaction that I got. Yes, sir, that's, that's how you get them. You let them know. Yeah, you're a Karen. You're a Karen. You're sitting here. What are you really, what are you really arguing about? Like, what are you really arguing about? You have to sanitize this stall once I leave anyway. It don't matter what I wash in here. I paid to use the wash. I'm washing my dog. I wash some pillows. Why are you arguing? Here's the point. Here's the point. You never know who you're arguing with. I have mental illness. It's documented. I see a therapist. That doesn't give me an excuse to harm anybody. But... It makes it highly possible that you will end up dead over a dog wash. Messing with the wrong person that can't control their emotions. I have trouble controlling my anger. Everybody knows that. I've always been a nice, peaceful person until this accident. I've always been a nice, peaceful person. But somehow... It's like you just can't say anything and everything that you feel like saying to, to people without having a reaction.
and I don't understand to 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 right now. It's this probably video. I probably look stupid on this video, but the reason I I just don't understand what the purpose of it was. Like I don't understand what the purpose is. I really don't. I don't understand why after I pay my money, do you even care that I'm washing the dog pillow? Why is me washing the dog pillow? Which the dog, she didn't poop on it. It was blood on it. Why, why by me washing this dog pillow, is it setting you off? Why do you feel you have to come over and argue with me over a dog pillow that I washed? And I've already washed it. You didn't see, you didn't tell me not to wash it. I brought it through the front door. I paid to use the wash. I had it in the cart with me, with the dog. What do you think I was going to do with it? And then, to add insult to injury, after we finished arguing, after I hit her with the Karen word and explained to her what it meant, and uh, finished washing the dog, and uh, I wanted to buy a metal, a metal leash and a choke chain a training collar from my other dog, uh, Hope, because um, I gotta get I gotta get her out of this bad habit. Uh, she pulls a lot when she walks, and it's she's too rough for me. I can't control her, and she chews on the the nylon leash, chews it all up. So I figured I'd get a metal one to see if it would break her, because I was putting hot sauce on it to try to break her. And it broke her for a little while, but she ends up chewing the leashes up. So I'm trying to get her out of the habit. So I figured maybe get a metal leash, see if I could get her out of the habit. Obviously, I'm not gonna let her damage her teeth. Okay, so that's not the point. I'm not gonna let her damage her teeth. I won't let her chew on the metal leaf. I just want to see if it'll help. The problem, I'm trying to problem solve here. So uh, we go to the aisle to buy the leashes, and she's doing this. She's doing this, peeking around the corner, watching us, like we're gonna steal the leashes. I'm looking at the different leashes, different sizes, because I don't have that dog with me. I have my micro with me. So I'm looking, seeing what size might fit her neck, what size leash do we want, how much they cost, how thick do I want it. So I'm 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 barging, I'm not barging, but uh barraging or what do you whatever you call browsing. I'm browsing through looking at the stuff that I want to get. Yo, know, when you when you give people that look like they're thieving and they're this and they're that. Come on, yo. That was wrong. That lady, that, that, that. So this video is to tell you Pet Supplies Plus sucks. The people that work there suck. They're overpriced. Everything I could buy on Amazon, I could get. I live in an apartment. That's documented. So I don't have the facilities. And my wife, I don't like washing the dogs in the bathtub that me and my wife used to, 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 to wash up. That, you know, especially a dog that has menstrual blood all over. I just didn't want to get, I didn't want to go down that road. So, I took it to the pet wash. <laughs> and, like, I got bowling tonight. Like, I go bowling for, like, stress relief, and I'm so stressed out right now. I don't even want to go bowling because I'm afraid I might say something to somebody there. Or, or, somebody, or somebody will trigger me. You know what I mean? I don't go around looking for trouble, but I'm the right one. When you, Whenever you want to find it, I can, I can... We can talk about it. You know what I mean? I I, I got you. And to make us, <laughs> and my son was the calm one. You know, he stayed calm through the whole thing. And he was like, he just he asked the lady, "What are you fuss? What, like, what is the purpose of you fussing? What is the goal? Is it more money? Is what are you arguing about? Why? What? What? And I'm still baffled behind it. I know this video is dragging out, but it's like my mental, my mental, like what? I just don't understand what you, what your, what your purpose was, what your goal was. What were you trying to do? <sighs> Support the channel, like, share, subscribe, help us fight mental illness. It's real. I seen an article. I'm going to leave you with this. I was clicking through my Facebook earlier and there's this lady was talking. I had no idea what she was talking about. So I watched the video Right here in Baltimore, a lady was riding around with her dead niece and her dead nephew in the car for over a year. In the trunk of the car. 
She was driving the car with no car insurance, no tags. It was, fake, it was a fake paper tag on it, no car insurance. The lady had no license. She had a dead little girl, seven years old, a dead little boy, five years old, in, in a suitcase and in a trash bag inside the trunk of the car, okay? The cop pulled her over for speeding, told her that he was gonna impound the car, but let her go. If she was any belongings in the car, that she could get him out now because he was gonna tow the car. So the lady went in the trunk, this is mental illness for you, not thinking that the lady would have just left the car alone. Um, the lady goes in the trunk, trying to get the suitcase out, gets caught with the dead bodies. If they would just towed the car, she probably would've got away with it. YouTube. Support the channel, support mental, fight against mental illness. Peace and hair grease.